One of the areas that perhaps mediators who are not legally trained do struggle with is financial cases. And in collaborative law, the principles of sharing information, sharing support, for instance, from a single accountant advising everybody collaboratively, or a family counsellor advising both sides, those principles for mediation carry straight across into collaborative law. And in collaborative law, what you have is the two in the couple, the relationship, the, the husband, wife, the mother, father, and you have the two lawyers. And they all sign, even the lawyers, a contract to say, we will not take this case to court in anger. You may want to take it to court to get the order that controls what happens, but you are not going to take it to court in anger. And you sit around the table and you share information so that uh, if, for instance, uh, uh, the wife is saying, hang on, I don't understand where the money has left your bank account, and uh, her husband is right there, it's in the other side of the table, well, I, I, we're going to try to work this out, so I'm going to tell you straight now and then. In the legal world, that may take three or four weeks of exchange of correspondence about who should tell what to whom and what information should be produced. So it can be much quicker, much more immediate, and the principles of mediation are to some level used in collaborative law because you are all looking to find that solution together. In mediation, you can mediate with lawyers present as well. It's not, again, the best form of mediation because the mediation principles are that the individual's wishes are what should be the, the, the road to the outcome and not through legal direction. Uh, the empowerment of the individual to speak up and potentially put forward where they want to go and work it out, maybe compromise is the word you use, but to work it out so it, it is an effective working model for the next stage of your life when you're living apart but maybe still committed to the caring for the children, caring for supporting each other potentially in all sorts of other ways. That self-empowerment is really important. And certainly if you're going to have to have lawyers there that may question whether or not mediation is the right forum for that particular solution.